Welcome to VicoCo, the vegan online cooking school. My name is Steve Lin, and today we are celebrating squash. We have just a few examples of the many, many different varieties of squashes. I can't even think of how many there are, and I actually don't even know if squashes is the actual plural. I could be squashes, could be squashms. I'm not sure, but we have lots of squash, and we're gonna talk about each variety that we have. We're gonna talk about what it's good for, its flavor profile, and how best to use it. So here we have a variety of our squash, and each one has unique flavor profiles and unique textures, but there is an overall theme to the squashes, but I'm just gonna to quickly touch on a few of the varieties that we have here that are most notable. The butternut squash, is rich and creamy. Really, they couldn't have named it anything else than butternut squash because it has a slight nutty flavor and it's a bit buttery when you cook it, so it's great for soup. The spaghetti squash is exactly how it sounds. When you roast it, it has nice strands in it. The skin is not edible, but you have this beautiful, beautiful strands of almost like spaghetti texture. So this one here is sort of the generic pumpkin variety. If you see a recipe that just calls for a pumpkin, this is the one to use. Very mild, sweet flavor to it. Great for use for that. This one here has a slightly sweet, nutty flavor that is, the flesh is slightly stringy. Here we have the squash here. The amazing thing about this one is out of all these varieties, this is the only one that you can actually eat the skin because the skin is quite thin. So it's great for roasting. If you want to cut it into nuggets, it's really great for that one as well. We're gonna start with this one here. I'm gonna show you how to cut it how we're gonna cook it, and we're gonna actually make some chili that incorporates this squash right here. And we're gonna start off by cutting this stem off. The very first thing that you need to do is make sure you have a sharp knife. If your knife is dull, cutting squash is very, very difficult. So make sure your knife is sharp. Then we're just going to put the knife, the tip in, and you're gonna push straight down, making sure your hand is well clear, straight down, Hold the pumpkin back here and go across. Straight down like so. Then go to the other side. Again, tip in, push down, all the way down. Now you have, as you can see here, two cuts. And you've cut all the way through. You can put your knife down and just open them up. Now we're gonna remove the core here. We're just gonna cut a triangle out of that core, core pops out nice and easy. Now one of the things that happens is people look at these seeds and just throw them away. They're really amazing, they're healthy, they're super easy to roast. We're just gonna take these and we're gonna throw it all into some water and we're gonna let that soak for just a little bit and I'll show you what to do in another video with those seeds. We're just going to take our spoon and sort of just start pulling at it like so. You can see how stringy it is and you can just see those seeds coming right out, nice and easy. And so for the rest of it, we're just gonna scoop out the last little bits of this stringy, and then we're ready to go. So now that we hollowed it out, we got all the seeds out, they're in the water for later, we're just gonna take this little bit of core here, and we're gonna take that out, make sure that it's not gonna roast in there, like so. We're just gonna cut them in half, and what we're gonna do is you point it up so that the carved outside is straight up. Cut all the way down till you have four pieces like so. Then we're gonna put them into our roasting pan, drizzle some olive oil on them, a little bit of salt and pepper, and roast them. So here we have our squashes, they're ready to go. Gonna drizzle some olive oil in them, but before I do that, I just wanted to quickly talk about the skin. Now the skin on these types of squashes is not edible, it's really thick, it's a bit chewy, and it really doesn't taste great at all. Instead of sitting there and trying to carve and peel because it's so hard and it would be really difficult to do that, I'm actually gonna roast them, and then when I cool them, the skin will just be able to pull right off. But if you want, and you wanna cube these squashes, the first thing that you wanna do is actually to peel it. So you're gonna take your knife and run your blade down it like so. But I highly, highly, highly recommend. This is much easier, much safer, and saves a lot of time and effort. So I've added salt and pepper. If you don't like pepper very much, you can actually just avoid that. But because I love the, the pepper flavor, I always add it to my squash. 
But if you want to forget that, no problem at all. The next step is you're going to use your hands, take the oil and you're going to rub it into the flesh and then you're going to flip them so that the skin side is up. They're ready to go into the oven, 200 degrees Celsius for about 30 minutes or until they're fork tender. We have our beautiful golden nugget roasted perfectly. We're just going to remove the skins right now. So one of the best ways is just to get a little bit of a start and then you have these nice easy skin comes right off. So just keep pulling on it and it'll come right out and leave you with a beautiful pumpkin look. So there it is, peeled, ready to go. I'm going to be using it in a beautiful chili coming up in another video. So please check that out. One of the reasons why it's called spaghetti squash is because the strings that we, after you roast it, you fork them up and they look exactly like spaghetti. So you can use it very similar techniques as spaghetti. So we're going to start off by cutting off the ends. Now it's a bit wobbly, so we're going to make sure, try and find the most secure side, stick the tip of your knife into it, push all the way down and go around. Again, around and again, around. And then you have your end come off and then again, here we just need that little piece right there to come off. So just to go down right at the edge like that. So we're just going to cut in lengthways. We have now a serrated knife. We're just going to put this here at the edge and we're just going to go very slowly, careful of your fingers all the way through. So as you can see, I have it halved. This was very tough skin. It was very a little bit maybe underripe, makes it a little bit tougher to cut, but we're going to make it, you're going to see it's going to still work beautifully. We're just going to take out the seeds and the inside here, just pulling it towards you. Like so you can save these seeds if you want to roast them. They're beautiful and they taste fantastic. So now we have our squash halved. I've scooped out all the seeds and the pulp on the inside as much as I wanted to. I'm going to put it into the roasting pan. So we're going to leave them in half like this because what's going to happen is when they roast, you want them, this contact surface in the pan to actually steam a little bit. So then you get this beautiful, beautiful string spaghetti structure. If you cut this in half or you try and cube it, it's going to be a bit more mushy and not as flavorful. So you want to keep it half exactly like this, just two pieces, drizzle a little bit of olive oil, some salt and some pepper. Again, if you don't want to add pepper, not a problem, just to add some salt and then we're going to flip it over and roast it. So here we have our spaghetti squash. It's been in the oven for about half an hour and it's cooled for about 15 minutes or so. So I can touch it without burning myself. It's not too hot. We still want it to be a little bit warm to make it a little bit easier. So we're just going to flip it over. See that beautiful color in there. Just take the fork so and just gently start pulling on these strands just like so. Keep going back and forth. You're just going to really just try and pull out as much of the spaghetti as you want. I'm going to be using this for a particular recipe where I keep all of the spaghetti squash in the actual shell here. So I'm just going to kind of, I don't really want to make it into long strings. If you want to do really long strings, you have to really start slow from down here and pull very gently and you will get these beautiful, so you can see these beautiful sort of spaghetti strings. And you can take those out and you can use them however you want. But for me, I want to kind of pull them right to the middle, a little bit shorter because it'll be a little bit easier to eat when I actually roast this finally. If you want to see how I finish this recipe with the Alfredo sauce, please check out the other video and I'll just go ahead and finish this here now. So there you have it, cut and roasted spaghetti squash and now Hokkaido or red curry squash. So the red curry is a bit unique in the sense that it's one of the few squashes that you can really eat the skin, the outside as well. So it's really good for making bread and nuggets or turning it into some kind of roasted dish. It works really great for all those things. But the very first thing that you want to do is make sure that you clean the skin, make sure the outside is completely clean as much as you possibly can. Give it a light scrub. You don't want to cut into that, but just give it a really good scrub on the outside. So I've washed it. Now I'm just going to take the top off here and then I'm going to cut it into half and then we're going to remove the seeds and then we'll go from there. And when you go from here, just stick your knife in the middle, push down, 
all the way through, turn it around, again, push down all the way through, and then you got your half. Next, we're gonna remove the seeds and the flesh. So now we have the halves here scooped out. There's a couple things that you can do, different ways you can do the cut. One of them is you can go down like this. I find this a little bit tricky just with the, with the hard skin here. For me, I like to turn it like this, sort of pull it up like here, and just kind of cut it down into pieces like so. Just being careful where your fingers are, really be mindful of that. And you're just gonna let your knife do as much of the work as possible. And then when you get to this stage here, make sure you remove your fingers, and then you just kind of groove it in your knife, and then push down in the middle, and you have your pieces. That. The other way I'll show you as well, flat, it's much more stable. So if you're a little bit insecure, make sure you go with this technique and then just push your knife through. And I always find it easiest pushing hands like so, making sure your fingers are well away from the bottom here and your hand here is also. And then when you get a little bit insecure here, flip it back over onto its sides like so. And continue to cut. So now we have our pieces here. We're just gonna cube them up and then we're gonna roast them. And all you have to do to do the, this stage is just cut them like so. Try your best to have them fairly even. That way they'll roast about the same amount of time. I'm just gonna finish cubing up all the rest of the squash here and then I'll show you the rest. Here we have our cubed squash. I'm gonna just drizzle some olive oil, salt and pepper, and we're gonna roast it 200 degrees Celsius oven for about 15, 20 minutes. Here we have our red curry squash. It's been in the oven roasting about 20 minutes and it's ready to go used for anything. As you can see, the skin's still on, it's perfect. So with butternut squash, it's a few different stages that we're gonna do. The first is we're gonna take the end piece right off. So we're just gonna go just behind it, cut it down, and then right here where it starts to get thicker again, just take your knife, cut that in half. Again, being careful of your fingers. From here, we're gonna cut this piece in half, and we're gonna remove the seeds. And then we're gonna take this piece here, we're going to just cut a little bit off the one edge here to get it a little bit flat. So then we cut it in half. Again, we're gonna make sure our fingers aren't anywhere near this. We're just gonna use both hands and go down. Now, if you have a really sharp potato peeler or carrot peeler, you can use that on this, or you can go at with your knife. I'll show you both. I'm more comfortable with the knife but I will show you both techniques. So here we have our potato peeler, carrot peeler, whatever you want to call it. You just start off and you go around like that. Gets a nice thin layer and do that. It takes a lot of strength in your wrist and your forearms, but it works fairly well. You can just go across like so. You're gonna use the knife, just hold the squash firmly, fingers level and flat. You're gonna push your fingers down so you're gonna have a bit of an angle and you're just gonna use your knife slowly and carefully down. Again, just going like so, down. You're just gonna go all around, slowly cutting. And then when you get this last piece, level knife, and just kind of go across it. I'm gonna finish peeling up the rest of this squash and then we'll go into cutting. So I'm just gonna cut it up. I'm gonna cube it into relatively small cubes. We're gonna, I'm gonna be using this to make a cream soup. So I'm just gonna blend it all together anyways. So it doesn't have to be too exact, but I'm just gonna show you easily how to cut this into cubes. So starting with the one with the sort of hole in there, we're just gonna cut it. This down into pieces like so. And then again, just a few pieces. Just like, and then when we have these curves, we're just gonna do sort of just follow them along, turning them as you go. So cut, 
churn, cut, churn, and you will get your pieces. These pieces here, it's got a nice flat surface, so I'm just gonna cut this way. You can cut this way, whatever way is a little bit easier for you. We're just gonna cut them into chunks. And then we're gonna take them, I'm gonna do two at a time, but if you feel more comfortable, just do one at a time and cut it down like so, and turn it, and you have your chunks. And just three pieces, and there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and finish cutting the rest of this. So there we have our butternut squash cubed up, ready to go for the soup. If you wanna roast it, you can do the exact same thing like this. Toss in a bit of olive oil or canola oil, salt and pepper, and throw it into a 200 degrees Celsius oven, and you'll get a beautiful roasted squash as well. So I hope everybody has learned a little bit about the different types of squash, how to cook them, how to roast them, how to use them in soups and in chilies. I hope you enjoyed these videos. Please hit like and subscribe to see further videos like this.